This is Sacred Residence and this is our installation site Plante. Biosonic installation here at the Bicentennial Conservatory in the beautiful Adelaide Botanic Gardens. And here we have leaves and plants hooked up to electrodes producing beautiful plant music in this beautiful tropical environment. And we've been running this installation here for nine days now. And in these nine days, we've given the ability of the plants to communicate, the plants to sing. And through sensitive electrodes, as you see here on the plant, and circuits, we've allowed the plants to communicate this data in real time and react to the touch, to the sense, and maybe even to the intention of our thoughts to produce this feedback of music, this connection with nature. And so as inspired by the secret life of plants and the work of Master Vogel, this is a re-enactment of this experiment in showing how plants can communicate and through the use of sound and through the sonic resonance that we are here showing through the work of sacred resonance. This unique connection with nature to become super nature, to create this symphony of sound and this connection to give the plants, to give the ecology the voice to speak their message and inspire us to have this sustainability, have this intimate connection back with nature once again. And so as we hear the plants sing and communicate to us, we think of the living Mother Earth and her environment as a song of symphony, a cosmic symphony of communication.
installation. The last year has been quite interesting in looking at how we can create a biofeedback with plants and how important plants are to our living ecosystem. Myself, Darren Curtis, and Bradley Pitt, we're sacred residents, and we look at the idea of human and plant living systems, biocommunication, and how we can transform nature into supernature. And so our business, Sacred Resonance, is looking at musical structures, looking at organic soundscapes, natural frequencies, and how we can allow our consciousness to come into this. And so Psy Plante, Psy means psychic, or meaning paranormal, or just meaning sort of otherworldly, and Plante, the plant kingdom, we had this communication from nature to supernature. And so what a beautiful venue here tonight at the BICON, the Bicentennial Conservatory. And special thanks to the Adelaide Botanic Gardens for allowing us to use this venue, especially Nadia Parker for the hard work she's put in, to allow this venue to be used in such a special way and allow the plants to speak and allow the plants to communicate. And so what we've done is we've developed over the last year with the help of Seth Tomchak over here, We've developed circuits of what's called a Wheatstone Bridge effect. Basically, it's an, like an advanced lie detector circuit. And so what it does, it creates a biofeedback communication system with the plants. And we can create this interaction between the living systems. And tonight in here, the electrical conductance of the, of the, the plants are really, really high. So it's singing a lot. There's lots of electricity going through the leaves. So they're very, very active. But as you know, being closer to them and touching them, you'll start to hear different, different patterns from different plants. And so what we believe is that each of the plants have certain patterns and certain songs. And all traditions around the world, whether it be the ancient Navajo traditions or the ancient American Indian traditions, every culture believed that plants were a vital part to our ecosystem. And I'm just going to pass over to Brad and talk a little bit about it. So uh, we, were being, we were inspired by the um, secret life of plants. And so it was all the work that was done in the 1970s, those looking at how plants can communicate and how we can respond to nature in a whole different way than from the visual to the um, feeling, but also coming from the more what we consider as the more the psychic. And so this is a way that we can open up people's minds to realize that plants can communicate on a whole different vibrational level. And so this is what our business about sacred resonance is looking at the sacredness of everything, looking at sacred of nature, looking at the resonance of all of nature and of the universe. We do a lot of different installations that tries to show this interconnectedness. And so also we see the icosahedron we have at the far left, which is also exemplifies again what we find in nature. And so some of the research uh, by those we've been working with overseas, uh, her name Beth Hagens, looking at what could be a well grid, a way to see the earth in geometry. And so we use the icosahedron as a way to show that the earth also can be seen as an icosahedron, that you can connect certain points of the earth together. So the icosahedron represents also the living structures of plants, of viruses, of the basic subatomic level. These structures exist everywhere. And so these structures also emit sound as well. Geometry and sound come together. And so we have our friend Paul Owen has installed a, a cosahedron and dodecahedron geometry in there to show how that certain metals and certain crystals and certain wood with, from the plants can conduct sound and can create sound from geometry. So it's a very part, in, in, integral part of nature. And so from that, and with the plants communicating with us, we're going to, in about 20 minutes time, we're going to have a live performance where we have all the data from the plants and Bradley and some other people like Jessica over here, who has some beautiful art up the front there showing the interconnectedness of geometry and flowers and nature and how they all connect together and how sound comes out of this living synthesis. And so we're going to connect all the plants up to here and we're going to have a live performance with my, myself, Sacred Resonance and Little Scale, Sebastian over here. And for 35 minutes, we're going to have this real organic soundscape coming together. And on the